Hello, Rob here, and coming up on R&B Reviews, Emma Watson gets a job at a tech company that may be manipulating and spying on their employees. I'll have my review of The Circle coming up. Okay. Thanks for checking out R&B Reviews. Based on a novel, The Circle stars Emma Watson as May, who is hired to work at a powerful tech and social media company called The Circle. At The Circle, she soon finds that her co-workers unsubtly encourage her to go and participate at more social events at the company, and they know a lot about her personal information, including that her father, played by Bill Paxton, has MS, as well as her whereabouts. The founder of The Circle, played by Tom Hanks, wants May to try out a new product, which is a camera that allows people to see her daily activities. But her participation in this product begins to affect the lives of her friends and family. Now, I was really looking forward to The Circle because it is a film that tackles subjects such as lack of privacy, and once you share your life on the internet, how it changes your life. Unfortunately, I left the movie feeling very disappointed because the film had great potential, but I found it to be unengaging. I found most of the lead actors, including Watson, to be a bit bland in their roles, with the exception of Tom Hanks, who I found to be very charismatic. He could be funny and serious and very believable as he sells ideas to his staff on all kinds of things, such as the idea that um, his belief that seeing all is good but knowing all is better, as well as the, uh, selling the idea that planning surveillance cameras around the world will help with human rights. Surprisingly, it was the supporting actors who play May's co-workers who I thought gave much stronger performances, and I found them to be more engaging. Another standout for me was John Boyega as Ty, who is an employee who is critical to Circle, including the way the company has been using his inventions. While Boyega did what he could to bring life with the material, I wanted to see more of his character, and some of the dialogue throughout the movie I found to be a bit banal. What I admire about the movie was the point the film was trying to make, which was that the cynical employees are overprotective, and if you don't agree with their belief, then you are wrong. It also touches on the ideas of how people's information, if it was stored, could be analyzed, and how people could simply just record a situation on their cameras or their phones, such as a, you know, a fight, and they record it instead of trying to step in and break it up. But... Um, and also, another thing that the film tackles was how someone can easily lose their personality once they sell their whole life out there for people to see and that not all the feedback is positive. I really wanted to recommend this movie because it's a relevant statement on social media, but the film, which runs at about an hour and 50 minutes, felt like it dragged out longer. The characters and plot points, the characters just seemed like to be more of like an extension of plot points. Uh, there was a trace of paranoia in scenes where we could have been, where I think we should have been more on the edge, and the dialogue I found to be colorless, and as a result I found the film to be unengaging. I simply can't res um, uh, recommend it. I was expecting more from it, so I give The Circle a snuff it. All right, well, that's my review of the movie. Uh, what did you think of the movie? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Did you like it at all? Uh, go ahead and post your comments. 